Imagine a scenario where traveling to outer space is as straightforward as riding an elevator. This idea, which might sound like a chapter taken from a science fiction novel, is edging closer to reality. Welcome to the era of the space elevator, a concept that promises to redefine our approach to cosmic exploration. A space elevator isn't just a futuristic fantasy, it's a blueprint for tomorrow's space travel. At its core, this marvel of engineering comprises four essential elements. A base station, a robust cable, climbers, and a counterweight. Each plays a pivotal role in the operation of what could be humanity's most ambitious project. The base station is the foundational piece. It acts as the anchor, potentially positioned on a mobile platform in the ocean to mitigate the impact of weather and debris or on a stationary land-based site for straightforward access. It's where our journey to the stars begins. Considered the backbone of the elevator, the cable stretches an astounding 35,786 kilometers into space. Crafting this component requires materials we once thought belonged only in the realm of dreams carbon nanotubes, or graphene, known for their incredible strength and lightness. The climbers are not your average elevators. Powered by solar energy or innovative wireless energy transfer, climbers are the workhorses designed to transport cargo and eventually humans up and down the cable. As they ascend, they harness Earth's rotation to gain the necessary horizontal speed for orbit entry, illustrating the elegant harmony between celestial mechanics and human ingenuity. Floating beyond the geostationary orbit, the counterweight might be a captured asteroid or an extension of the cable itself. It's critical for maintaining the system's balance, ensuring the cable remains taut and operational. The implications of a fully functional space elevator extend far beyond the realms of convenience and cost-effectiveness. This isn't merely about saving money on rocket fuel, it's about unlocking a new era of space exploration. Imagine launching interplanetary missions at a fraction of current costs or establishing lunar bases with materials ferried efficiently from Earth. The space elevator could facilitate the deployment of advanced satellites, space telescopes, and even solar panels, propelling our capabilities in communication, research, and renewable energy. Moreover, the environmental impact of space travel could see a dramatic reduction. Traditional rocket launches contribute significantly to atmospheric pollution. In contrast, the space elevator promises a cleaner, more sustainable pathway to the stars. For all its potential, the space elevator faces monumental challenges. The development of a cable material that combines extreme strength with feather-like lightness remains the most significant hurdle. Current research into carbon nanotubes and graphene is promising, but we're still in the early days of making these materials viable for such an ambitious application. Beyond the materials, there's the question of space debris. Low Earth orbit is cluttered with satellites and remnants of past missions. A space elevator would need sophisticated systems to avoid collisions, requiring advancements in tracking and maneuverability. Additionally, the protection of climbers from cosmic radiation and micrometeoroids is paramount. Designing shielding that can withstand these hazards without adding prohibitive weight will be a critical focus for engineers. Other challenges include what would happen if the cable snapped. If the unthinkable happened and a space elevator's cable snapped, the aftermath would be like something out of a sci-fi thriller, but with real-world consequences. The aftermath of a broken cable would depend on where the break occurred. Below geostationary orbit, GEO, the cable would likely fall back to Earth, potentially burning up or scattering debris across a wide area. Above GEO, the upper section and any attached counterweights would zoom off into deeper space, while the lower section heads back to Earth, posing risks to people and property. The space elevator scientists and engineers would have all sorts of plans to keep things tidy and safe, from picking tough materials to constantly checking for wear and tear, and maybe even having repair bots on standby. 
They'd do everything to avoid a space catastrophe, and if something did go wrong, they'd have plans to make sure the fallout avoids cities and people as much as possible. In a nutshell, a space elevator cable breaking would be a big deal, with parts of it either heading for a space adventure or making an unexpected return trip to Earth. It's a scenario that highlights why building a space elevator is as much about brains and safety as it is about developing a more efficient way to transport to space. The journey toward realizing the space elevator is as much about advancing technology as it is about expanding our collective imagination. It challenges us to rethink what's possible, to dare to dream bigger. But more than that, it invites collaboration across disciplines, materials, science, robotics, environmental engineering, and international law, each playing a crucial role in bringing the space elevator from concept to reality. This collaboration extends to the international community. Constructing a space elevator will require a global effort, transcending borders and uniting nations in a common goal. It's a project that embodies humanity's shared aspirations for exploration and discovery. The space elevator concept encourages us to look beyond the confines of our planet and to imagine a future where space is as accessible as the nearest elevator. It's a bold vision, fraught with challenges but brimming with potential. As we push the boundaries of science and technology, we inch closer to a day when the space elevator will lift humanity to new heights, both literally and metaphorically. So, let's embrace the spirit of innovation and curiosity that drives this quest. For in the pursuit of the space elevator, we're not just reaching for the stars, we're redefining what it means to be a species bound not by gravity, but by our boundless desire to explore. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.